As we arrive at Goblin Valley State Park, we found that uh, out that the campsites inside the park were already taken. So we're looking for some uh, dispersed camping. The ranger told us to go back uh, and make a left on this road, which uh, is where we're going now, where we can uh, stay behind one of these, um, these uh, beautiful buttes here. So um, as we travel through here, we're just kind of looking around, looking for a spot, and eventually uh, we'll come upon one, uh, and uh, we will camp there for the night. Um, and then tomorrow morning, we're going to head into the state park. So, um, because there was a lot of video uh, there that would have ran an hour or so, I did uh, a lot of pictures. So, there is going to be a slideshow for most of it. So, I hope you enjoy that. And thanks for uh, following along with us in, in, on our little uh, two week adventure. So, um, we appreciate you guys. Make sure you click like, subscribe, and tell your friends about us. Help our channel grow. We'd appreciate it. Um, as you notice, <clears throat> when we get down here, there are a lot more vans uh, that, uh, that are camping down here. So um, we found a little pot spot. The road was really rough getting in there. We had to go super, super slow. But uh, we, uh, we got in there and we settled for the night. And that's when the adventure begins with uh, Mother Nature. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, we made it to the Goblin National Park. Found us a nice spot up against some, a butte, up against a butte, not some buttes. This is the butte I'm talking about. There's another one over there. This is free here. Lots of places on this uh, on this 
road, side road, right before the park on the right. I think it's called Wild Horse or something that you can park out here for free. Don't mind our hair. <laughs> yeah, it's freaking windy hey. out there. So I took a couple pictures in a small video of where we're at. We're, uh, we have a big butte right behind us and the wind's coming sideways to us. So um, that's why our hair's messed up and that's why we're inside. But tomorrow, we oh yeah, we're at Goblin uh, National Park. So Goblin Valley. Yeah, that place. So um, she's gonna tell me and Crockett where we're going tomorrow. It's all you. Uh, oh. Well, there's a bunch of trails through the park, and since we're not extreme hikers, so we're going to take the easy one. It's called Curtis Bench. Uh, it's a fairly easy 2.1 out and back that follows a Curtis Formation, whatever the Curtis Formation is, and it uh, offers a unique overview of Goblin Valley, as well as spectacular views of the Henry Mountains, so 2.1 miles it should be. I hope we just don't bring back any goblins. That's what I'm concerned about. Oh, I doubt They can it. stay here. But yeah, it's pretty so, windy. Yeah. Unfortunately, this is a dark sky area, so if, if the, this, yeah, if the clouds go away tonight, uh, we should be able to see the Milky Way and all the stars real easily. This is a drink for tonight too. It's Red's Hard, Red's Hard uh, Seltzer. This one cider here, or cider? I'm sorry. This one's peach. Apple peach. Uh, I don't want you guys to think that we get out here and just drink up and because we're big lushes. We usually have one or two and that's it. Kind of old, you know. Yeah. <laughs> usually just her one. I may have two. Uh, it depends. Anyways, I've got sand in my eyes, so I need to... Okay, so anyways, I'm not sure what's for dinner yet, but I do know what's for dessert. Blueberry pie from Walmart. 97 <laughs> cents. That's what nice. we're having for dessert. All right, when we figure out what we're going to do for dinner, we'll let you know. So for right now, we're just going to sit in here and kind of go over some plans and uh, figure when we got to start heading home. Um, yes. And then uh, and what we're having for dinner. All right. <laughs> we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Hey, by the way, what would you guys think of the scenery coming here? It was so magnificent. Just Jaw-dropping. Jaw-dropping, breathtaking. Every The last bit that we came through, every turn showed us something different and how beautiful this place is. Just awesome. Awesome, I awesome. Recommend. Yeah, get out this way. Come see this Goblin uh, Valley National Park. I think... Or just the road 24. I don't know. Highway 24. Yeah, I don't know if we're staying here tomorrow night. If not... Uh, we are going to be heading to um, Coral Cap Capital, Capital Reef, Reef uh, either tomorrow or the next day. But uh, we only got a few days left of uh, sightseeing, and then we got to start heading back. Uh, I don't uh, look forward to that. I'd like to stay out here for a long time, you know what I mean? All right, we'll talk to you in a bit. So this is what's for dinner tonight. It's chicken and dumplings. Let me say that again. Chicken and dumplings with uh, Hawaiian sweet uh, buns. This is by Mountain House Adventure <laughs> Meals. Not, <laughs> not, not a sponsor. Just We're just lazy. Yeah. But guys, check this out. It is freaking windy here. This is mild to what we've been dealing with here. Of course, it calms down now. Maybe not. Yeah, it's windy. Shaking the whole van. It's supposed to calm down a little bit. Hopefully, it will. About five miles an hour. Right now, it's supposed to be like 20 miles an hour. Wind. I think the gusts are higher 
Yeah, I think so too. All right, we're going to enjoy this fantastic meal by Adventure Meals. Mountain House Adventure Meals. Mm, and ginger snap peas too. Huh, sugar, sugar snap. I'm sorry, sugar snap peas. <laughs> I get everything wrong. Crockett it... loves those too, huh, Crockett? Yeah, good boy. Well, it's Thursday morning. We had a nice sleep last night. It was pretty comfortable except for the wind blowing, but it kind of rocked us all to sleep. So it died down later on in the evening, but uh, we were really comfortable. So today we just ate breakfast, had a healthy cereal and English muffin breakfast. So um, now we're going to head into the park. So um, let's see what we can do and explore in that park. Let's go. So last night we stayed on the back side of that uh, butte right there. Like I said, it was windy and it was cold. But now we're getting ready to go in the park. Got to go through visitor center, check in. Roxanne's in there probably looking for stickers for the van. And then we're going to go look at some goblins. What do you think? Sound like a good idea? That's what I thought. Wow, look at this. Okay, here we go with the slideshow. Enjoy all these beautiful, beautiful uh, formations in Goblin Valley State Park. You guys got to get out here for this. It is just breathtaking. Enjoy. As you're looking at these formations, do you guys see faces or characters from cartoons or movies or anything? Count how many different characters you see. Uh, I saw several. Uh, I saw Snoopy, I saw Coneheads, some old uh, man type faces and stuff. Just phenomenal. Let your imagination go wild. Put in a comment, who did you think you saw in some of those formations? Well, folks, that concludes our little tour of uh, Goblin Valley, Valley State, State Park. Park. Now we're heading to Capitol Reef. I hope you enjoyed that slideshow. Check back next week as our adventure continues as we visit Capitol Reef State Park. Thanks, guys.